Yo guys, how's it going? Hope all is well. Today, we're gonna be starting our new save, Masters FC, and I'm really excited for this one. So we're gonna take a quick look at the players, not too much, uh, just 11. Uh, that's not much. We have 11 players, 24 years of age is the average age, so it's pretty okay. This dude is... He has a lot of potential, I've seen him before in former saves, so I'm really excited to see how he grows, I think he has a potential of 80 or something, so I'm really excited to see how he grows. So first things first here, we need to hire some of our staff, we don't have anybody, we have just a manager, we don't have a manager, we don't have an assistant manager, we don't have a commercial manager, neither do we have a head coach, so let's go hire some people. So guys, we're done with recruiting our key staff. We're gonna head and recruit it at 57 rated first team manager, pretty good 60 rated sports scientist, along with a 61 rated physiotherapist. And how I did this, I did this because I had enough therapy points. I've used up seven already. <laughs> so uh, I do not recommend you use up the most of your therapy points in the first season, but. I just have to, I just had to do it. And also from our youth team, we've got from this incredible player here, 59 rated. He slots into a team pretty nicely and uh, he's our highest rated player both in the youth team and in the first team. So I'm gonna be uh, taking him straight into the first team along with this dude here, 52 rated in and around our uh, first team, 16 years of age. Hopefully he has pretty good potential so right now guys we're in the transfer window and we're gonna be looking to make a lot of transfers because we literally got 11 to 13 players on our team right now so we should be able to make some pretty good signings so i'll catch you at the beginning of the season so guys we've come to the end of the transfer window and we have a much better squad more players much better players and hopefully this team will be able to compete with the bigger teams in the league and we will be able to reach our targets. And just a quick look at our preseason form, it went pretty well, we played against teams that were far better than us and 2 out of the 3 friendlies we played, we were able to come out on top and beat teams that were far better than us so that's a pretty good positive, hopefully we will be able to keep this form and I've wasted all my director points, it literally says zero there. So just taking a look at the, uh, the targets, pretty achievable, hopefully we will be able to do this. So just to let you guys know, I will be playing a lot of matches off the screen along this series, you know, to speed up the whole process so we don't end up spending 15 episodes in just less than one season. So guys, we're into a match here, we're away from home playing against Kidderminster and uh, hopefully we will get the win and of course we start our season with a loss <laughs> I hate I, I hate when these things happen we lose 2-1 uh, it's just the first game first game we're away from home I understand that so we're gonna come back stronger in the next match hopefully so guys now we are playing against the 49 rated course John Ashton club a team that's 49 rated, we're 57, really expecting the win here and hopefully we can deliver that. And indeed we do get the win, uh, although we conceded one goal which was pretty uh, uninspiring at the third minute after scoring at the first minute, but we did make up for our mistake and went on to win that game 3-1. The red card didn't really influence anything because it came at the 87th minute. With that win we get to... Uh, the ninth position and hopefully we can keep on going up and just so you know we played an FA Cup qualifying round against this team we won 3-1 on penalties I think so uh, yeah we're true to the second round so guys we have this match against Chester FC we're away from home I'm really 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 scared because uh, we cannot win away <laughs> away from home I'm, I'm, I really get tense whenever we play away from home, so hopefully we can get the win here. They've lost every single one of their last five games, and that's not great form. Hopefully we can increase their streak in losing, of course. What exactly have I done to this game? We've lost 4-0. I'm, I'm really fuming. I, I, 
This game makes me mad so, so much. Like, we lost 4 0 to a team that had lost the last five games. Now we're 18th. Look at how far we've dropped down from 9th to 18th. And uh, it's really frustrating losing that by that many goals. Four goals. That's just so much. And with a team that couldn't win. In the last five games, it's really frustrating, but uh, hopefully we will be able to put this back. Uh, and, uh, it's, re it's really frustrating, to be honest. So we have this match here at home. At last, uh, we lost a game that I'd rather not talk about. Uh, so I'm just focused on getting this team to win as quickly as possible. And uh, we get a 2-2 two -two draw. We got a red card. Uh, could have won the game but uh, got that red card really cost us the victory and uh, hopefully this is a sign of good things to come at least we didn't lose that's the most important thing right now so guys we finally finally won an away game and i'm so happy still can't keep a clean sheet but you cannot complain about the result you cannot complain about the performance from the boys they did really well kept uh, played really well and uh, we finally won away from home and hopefully hopefully this is the start of a pretty good streak so guys to wrap up this episode we have a home match against this team uh, they're pretty good we're 57 they're 56 uh, expecting a win hopefully and uh, we have to wrap this uh, episode up with a win so guys we've only gone and done it We've won 3-1 to wrap up this episode, this win is so sweet, especially with the fact that we conceded the first goal, came back, Walker scoring two goals, not Kyle Walker of course, Walker scoring two goals, Burton wrapping it up and sealing the win for us and we get a 3-1 win against Hereford and that's really, really uh, ent that was a really entertaining game. So episode 1 sees Masters FC at 8th position, uh, not the worst start to the season, not the best, but we're just 6 points off the first position and just 1 point off the playoffs position, so there's still very much hope, just 6 games in, we have 10 points, so hopefully we continue this winning, this, uh, winning run, this unbeaten run, so if you did enjoy my horrible commentary on this game, do well to subscribe and leave a like on the video, see you ne next time. Bye.